Hello again. Today we're going to have a look at the new Peak Design 6 litre sling. Now, I was a big fan of the 5 litre. I've got the 5 litre sling and the 10 litre sling. Uh, but the 6 litre is just that little bit bigger than the 5 and not as big as the 10. So it's a perfect size for me. And so I decided to get it as soon as I could. I know it's a little bit after everyone else, but things here in Vietnam move slowly. Right, okay, so here's the bag itself. And first off, I really like the design. I like the sort of slightly triangular shape to it. Uh, it should fit nicely on the side. Very nice feel to it. So 600 denier is Kevlar. This is 400, that's great. Right, so it's got a handle here, and you can also use that as a pass-through for when you're traveling, so it should fit on some suitcases. It won't fit on all suitcases, but it fits on some. Uh, they've took away the old style of um, anti-theft protection, but they've designed another one, so you can actually hook those through, or you can, uh, you can hook them through the, the D-ring at the bottom there, or you can, because they've got bigger zipper pulls, you can actually thread through one of the TSA small padlocks. So it's more more safe. Right, so let's get rid of the junk inside here. We've always got the plastic airbags and things. What we've got here. Right, we've got the label here. So we'll just go through that as well quickly. Everyday sling, 6 litre. And it's got a few different things in here to show you. Right, so here it is worn on the back. Or you can carry it like a briefcase. To register your bag, if you have a look inside one of the zipper sections, you'll see a tag like a washing instruction tag. That usually has a number on it and you can register with that code. Okay, so it's got quick access to all of your different pockets and things. And then it's got the origami style dividers inside that you can fold down. And it's showing you different things that you can put in. So you can put one full size camera with the lens or you can put in the, the small mirrorless cameras as well. I'll probably be using this for the mirrorless camera. I've got a, a 6D Mark II that I'll probably be using for this. You can adjust it to where left or right. It's a little bit dodgy, a bit tricky, but uh, it's not not too difficult. And on the bottom, I'll show you those. There's the, the new security design. And I'll show you the um, tripod mount in just a few seconds as well. Okay. Right, that's that done. All right, let's get back to the bag. All right, so let's take out the rest of these little puffy bags. And silica gel, don't eat that. It's bad for your health. Right, so inside here, very, very nice quality again. It's got a, a little wedge there, which is what they took over from the tech pouches to stop things falling out when you open the, the front of the bag. In the back here, you can fit an iPad. Now, it's a six liter. I wonder if my iPad 11 inch Pro will fit in here. Let's have a test. Okay, yes, no, yes. Right, so a little bit of a tight fit, but it does fit in there. And so you can put it in. No problem at all. It takes, takes it in back there, and the zipper will close as well, so that's good. Dividers work perfectly well. Okay, so that's good. Let's take that back out so I can show you the rest of the bag. It was a little bit tight fitting it in there, but probably just the first time. Next time should be easier. At least it fits. <laughs> right, so pick design sticker again, and we should have, there we go, the, the two belts for the tripod pouch at the bottom. Inside here, as always, you've got little battery compartments or things that you can put memory cards in. 
Uh, with the mirrorless cameras, I usually put my batteries in up the top there. It stops them rattling around then. Okay, so in the front we've got another pocket. And this pocket you can put things like money, you can put your mobile phone, um, anything really. Some uh, HD, uh, uh, some UV filters, you can put those in there as well if you want. In the 5 litre bag I usually put my phone in, so I'll probably use it for my phone again. But you've got plenty of size in there for even the, the biggest of mobile phones will fit in there no problem. Right, so on the bottom we've got the four little rings and let's undo these belts and I'll show you what sort of tripod you can fit onto the bottom here. Okay, I'm having a few struggles with the, the elastic ties. Right, so it's nice quality, very nice quality again. So they attach onto these D-rings just by force pressing, um, force pushing them, and they'll clip in to there. When you're putting these on, I found with the bags that use this sort of thing in the past, make sure that they fit the same way round, so that you've got the tie and untie ribbons the same way round. Right, I've speeded this up a little bit because it's the first time I've used this uh, cable system and uh, it was giving me a few problems. I couldn't get it to tighten up because I was pulling it the wrong way. Um, but once I got it tightened up, it works perfectly well. Now there is an elastic cord there. I was just tucking it through because I wanted to tidy it up. But there is an elastic cord that you can use for keeping that uh, string tidy. Undoing it is much easier than doing it up. As you can see here, you just have to the buckle and it comes loose quite simply. Now this is the Joby large tripod, I think it's the three, the, the three size, um, so that fits on there quite well. If you're using this as just a, a back sling then I wouldn't go above the three or maybe the five. I wouldn't use a normal tripod in this, it would be too long. But it's up to you of course. Right, so I'll just put those back and I'll Put those in one of these little pockets down here. Makes more sense to me. Right, so let me know in the comments what you think to this bag. I'm really liking it at the moment. I think it's very, very nice inclusion to the, the other Peak Design bags. It's got the new zippers, which are much smoother. Uh, they feel much more heavy duty. My 5 litre bag, sometimes I tend to overfill it because I do like the smaller size. And uh, so I do tend to overfill it a little bit too much. Uh, they've also made the, the shoulder strap a bit thicker by the looks of it. And of course with this you can undo it and turn it into a bum bag by clipping it into there. Uh, so you can thread that behind inside the bag where the, the loose ends go. And then you can clip it on and turn it into a, a little mini bum bag. Or of course you can turn it into a... Um, a, sh a small shoulder bag like a handbag if you need that sort of thing or you can use it for attaching it to a suitcase as well so it's got many different uses nice water repellent material I did a water test on this before uh, I don't know if I ever put the video up though uh, but I've seen on online they do other water tests but I did do a water test and it passed perfectly well there was no water got inside the bag okay nice new clip giving me troubles again ah, dear always on camera All right there we go uh, aluminium clip and then you've got a plastic slider on here um, it's plastic and aluminium the little D ring is aluminium and the rest is made of plastic but it slides nice and freely and that's the same that they have on the 10 litre bag. 5 litre doesn't have that. It just has a little finger pull. Right, I'll do comparison videos later on comparing the 6 litre to the 5 and the 10 litre if you're interested in that. Uh, otherwise, 
Let me know in the comments if you like this bag or if you'll be picking it up. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.